Hi guys and welcome back to the Oculus Quick Help series. Today we are going to be looking at a simple yet powerful explore that can help you filter, analyze and view your data in raw format on a dashboard. So let's get into it. This explore is called a data grid. If you're familiar with Excel, LibreOffice or Google Sheets, then you will notice a data grid has a similar structure to these platforms. Data grids can be exceptionally useful in Oculus as they can double as filters for your dashboard if you prefer to use them over the conventional filters. They can also help you search your data for specific records that may be worthwhile investigating, such as anomalies or failures. The most optimal way to use a data grid is as a supporting visualization. Generally, they are not the focal point of your dashboard and are mainly used when the user wants to look at the specifics within their data. Let's take a look at a few examples of how data grids are used in order to give you a better understanding of how you can apply them in your business. The first thing to note is that there are two main types of data grids, a filter data grid and a supporting data grid. They are created in the same way, but the data that they display is slightly different. Firstly, we will look at the filter data grid. Here we have a very basic dashboard based on marketing data and on the left is our filter data grid. If we wanted to filter our data by the country of the participants in the marketing campaign, we can do this by simply clicking on the country we wish to filter by in our filter data grid. For example, if I wanted to see the marketing data for all the candidates in America, I would just click America and my whole dashboard updates to reflect um, the filter. We can also do this with multiple filters at once for example, now I will have an aggregation of American and German candidates in this marketing cam campaign. To remove the filter, it's as simple as just crossing them at the top here. The next data grid we will look at is a supporting data grid shown at the bottom of this dashboard. So earlier I said that data grids are not generally the focal points of dashboards. And looking at this explore or this data grid, you can see why. Data grids look similar to an Excel spreadsheet and they do not visualize your data. They only show it in its raw form. So you may be wondering how this can be useful to your dashboards if it doesn't visualize the data at all. Well, the main purpose of the data grid is to allow the user to look at a specific record in their data to see why it is behaving a certain way. For example, at the top here, we have a bar chart showing the age distribution of, of candidates in the marketing campaign. As you can see, there is one user who claims to have been born in 1893. This would make them almost 130 years old. And it is safe to say that it is most likely a, an error and is worthwhile investigating further. Perhaps we want to get more information on the particular customer so that we can contact them and possibly correct the error in their birth year. To do this, it's as simple as clicking on the bar or the anomalous record in one of your other explores. And you can see our data grid has now updated to show the details of that candidate. We can see that their user ID is shown here. They live in South Africa. Uh, they've made one purchase with uh, regarding or purchase of a deal purchase they've made one web purchase and two in-store purchases and they've visited the, the website four times in the last month so now we have a better understanding of who this this who is responsible for this anomalous record and perhaps we have their contact details stored in a in a, a a user ID database or a user database or table um, and we can use this user ID to then find their contact details and find out what their actual birth year is. Okay so now that we've seen uh, two examples of, of data grids let's dive into creating one. As always you can start by clicking on the explore tab in the left hand uh, left hand side menu. Okay so now we can create our first um, data grid. The first one we'll do is a, a simple filter data grid. And that is as easy as taking one of your fields, let's take location like we did in the dashboard and then selecting data grid. 
Okay, so now we have our data into the data grid, but it's still not able to filter our dashboard. To make this a filter data grid, all we're going to do is we're going to take this name here and we're going to go into settings, uh, scroll down to the bottom and add it to click filter fields like so. And you'll know you've done this correctly if when you hover over the fields, they change color. This, this will um, mean that you can now filter your dashboard by these fields. Okay, so if we want to make a, um, a supporting dashboard, we can add multiple fields to the group box, such as ID, year birth, and let's do maybe marital status. And as you can see, we now have multiple columns in our data grid. So we can also filter these like we can with all Oculus Explores. For example, let's say we wanted to uh, sort by ascending ID and include only users that are older or younger uh, than 32 years old, like so. And now you can see our data grid has been updated. Everyone in this data grid um, is born after 1990 and their user IDs have been sorted in ascending order. Okay, so if you wanted to add a calculated field, for example, um, you would obviously create your calculated field down here. I've created one that um, calculates how much each user has spent in the last two years. And you're going to want to add this to the measure box. Only calculated fields will go in the measure box. Everything else can go in the group box. And you can see if we run this, our calculated field is then added onto the end and we can see how much each of these customers spent in the last two years. Okay, now lastly, we can look at some, uh, some of the settings in the data grid to customize it and make it look how you want. Uh, or, or maybe change some functionality in it. The first couple of settings are just um, aesthetic settings. So for example, uh, we can hide the row lines like so, and we can turn off the color alternate. Um, but I'm not going to explain all of these since their titles are pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go down to the bottom where we have our functional settings and these change how the data is actually displayed in in your uh, data grid so for example we have image fields here hyperlink fields html fields click filter fields i can actually remove that and hide column fields so these fields um, are very dependent on what sort of data you have in your data grid for example, if you're, you had a column that had image URLs, you would put that column name here. Um, if you had one with just normal URLs, you would put it in hyperlink fields. And then that column would either display the image in the data grid, or it would um, make the, the URL link hyperlinked. So you can click on it and it could redirect you to another page. Then HTML fields, maybe you are generating SQL in your data model or I mean HTML in your data model um, via SQL. Or maybe your, your data just contains raw HTML in it and you don't want to display the raw code. You want it to actually be um, the expected output of that HTML code. So then you would add that column to this HTML field. And then we've already discussed click filter fields. This one um, is, it, it makes that column uh, a filter and that filter would then be applied to your entire dashboard or any explorers that are using that, fil that uh, the same data model. Lastly, we have hide column fields. Um, this is mainly if you want to um, temporarily hide a column in your data grid or maybe you want to sort by a column, but you don't want to display that column, then you would place that column name in this, in this box here. If you wanted to permanently remove the column, then it is best advised that you just remove it from the group, um, group box up here. Okay, so um, that is all for today.
I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please like and subscribe so you can get all the latest updates regarding the Oculus application. Oculus, we empower you to make impactful decisions for positive change.